Nightclub that became synonymous with crime in downtown St. Louis remains shut tonight, but News 4's investigation on rain continues. A year since its closure, News 4 has new information on the club's impact on downtown and specifically Washington Avenue. As you can see, windows and doors still boarded up here at rain on Washington Avenue. It's been a year now since they've shut down and it doesn't look like much has changed. But when you take a look at police data and talk with residents, it paints a different picture. It's really peaceful. Um, it's just like the cloud has come from over our head. Downtown resident Corey Harris says he saw a change just weeks after the city shut rain in October 2021. It feels like downtown is what I paid money to live down here is doing now. Police say evidence repeatedly proved the violence connected to the club began affecting residents and businesses, and rain was also cited for violating nuisance codes. We did see a big spike in calls for service all circled around uh, rain nightclub. And what it was, was it was draining our resources that we do have downtown. St. Louis Metro Police Captain Pierre Benoist says since rain's closure, his officers have seen a difference. City data backs that up. On Rain's block of Wash Ave in the summer of 2020, there were 35 disturbance calls, three assaults, and five shooting calls. The following summer, there were 26 disturbance calls, seven assaults, three rapes, and eight shooting calls. Fast forward to summer 2022, and that section of Washington Avenue only had 15 disturbance calls, four assaults, and one shooting call. This administration has taken problem properties extremely serious. And we're putting a lot of focus on them to kind of like, you know, cut the problems off before they get to a, a violent nature. A change impacting police work, downtown businesses and residents. Crime hasn't impacted us at all. I don't think we walk around at night, we walk around at day. We've loved it. Um, you know, it's again, it's kind of delivered on all the things we expected. Residents enjoying city living and wanting more of it too. In St. Louis, Jenna Ray, News 4. The mayor's office tells us the city building division and police will continue to work to take action against nuisance properties and their owners.